I don't think that it's an unpopular opinion when I say that Saturday Night Live is so bad right now. It seems like every year it turns more and more into the type of comedy that's not made so much for laughter as it is for applause. Something that's a trend in late night network TV in general and something that YouTube appears to aspire to become, so you know, good job Susan. But I don't think it was always that way, and maybe this is just nostalgia talking, but there's so many old SNL sketches that were some of my fondest memories watching TV growing up. But the thing is, some of these sketches can be kinda hard to find online, whether it be copyright issues or, you know, stuff that they don't really stand behind anymore. But thankfully, I found a man who has us covered. Alright guys, I think we're ready to lay down this first track, and by the way, my name is Bruce Dickinson. Yes. The Bruce Dickinson. So for today's episode of Tales from the Internet, I want to talk about a YouTuber named President Polo. Listen, fellas, it's no secret that shaving your junk makes it look a little bit bigger. I'm not saying that you need it, but I guess everyone could always use a little extra dick, and that's why today's episode is sponsored by Manscaped. In the notes they sent me, they expressed that sentiment with the line, If you trim the hedges, the tree stands taller, but we all know by tree they mean dick. Their Perfect Package 2.0 comes with the Lawnmower 2.0, which you can use anywhere, your beard, uh, you, whatever you want to do with it. Clearly the whole product line, though, is intended to, to make, <laughs> intended to make your junk nice. And the lawnmower is specially designed to keep your balls safe, you know, like one time, cut myself and it was like something out of Silent Hill 4, you don't want that. It also includes... It also includes... The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, so you know, if you got bowls that are smelling like the dumpster at a Greek restaurant, this can help you fix that. They got the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray, and I didn't know what that was until I used it and I was like, oh, that's kinda nice. And to top it all off, they give you these Manscaped boxers that are supposed to be tactical or some shit like that. And when you purchase the Perfect Package 2.0 kit, you get the biggest bang for your buck. As a subscriber, you get 25% savings off your order instantly, a new replacement blade for your lawnmower trimmer every three months, making sure that you can always get the cleanest ball shave, exclusive access to the Plow 2.0 Safety Razor, which is not yet available on the website, and when you use code WANG20, you get 20% off your purchase and free shipping. And for a limited time, subscribers also get a free gift, the Shed Travel Bag, which has a $39 value. So thank you Manscaped, and I hope all you guys have really nice junk after this. Your world frightens and confuses me. I only learned about President Polo's channel somewhat recently, but as soon as I found it, it left an immediate impression. My first encounter with them came during one of the Democratic presidential debates. I was struck by how it seemed like one by one the candidates decided they wanted to prove how woke they were by answering questions in awkward robotic Spanish. Cada votar, ca cada votante necesitamos la representación. La situación ahora es inaceptable. And after I saw that whole spectacle, I immediately thought of that old Chris Farley sketch where he's Matt Foley, motivational speaker, but instead of doing his usual van down by the river because he's speaking to Spanish kids and he's going un van cerca de un rio. Damn, I gotta bring back my series where I speak foreign languages badly. For some reason, I was struggling to find this particular sketch, but I couldn't let it go because I knew as soon as I tweeted that it was going to be a banger-ass tweet. The official SNL YouTube channel had a few Matt Foley sketches, but not the one I was looking for. And I knew this wasn't some kind of Mandela Effect type garbage, because I could remember it so clearly. Un van circa de un rio. And finally, I found it. Best of SNL, Matt Foley, Motivational Speaker. I used to binge watch the Best of SNL DVDs with my friends, so I assumed that this would simply be a video taken from one of those DVDs. This guy, President Paul, probably had the same DVDs and he just uploaded them, right? Well, I absolutely was not prepared for what I would see when I would click on that thumbnail. Please give your undivided attention to Senor Matt Foley. Hola, niños! Me llamo Matt Foley. 
Io soy un motivational speaker. Yo tengo 35 años. Y soy tras divorciado. Y vivo en un van cerca de un río. That's the line that I wanted, but this was certainly not taken from the best of Saturday Night Live DVD. And by looking at that ratio and the comments, you could tell that everyone else who clicked on it was feeling the same way. Oh boy, another terrible impression by a 35 year old virgin. I feel like subscribing just so I can unsubscribe. This was awful. It sounds like a horrible impression of Scooby Doo. Did you actually think this was good? I am baffled and angry that I had to watch this. I am looking for the original skit in full and all that comes up is shameful wastes of time like this. Someone point me in the right direction. For some reason, these SNL vids are banned in Canada on the channel. And a few people pointed out that the main reason people were mad was the misleading thumbnails, which President Polo was not happy about. Dude, don't use that thumbnail. That's iconic, and look, I'm probably not going to come back to this video because of how idiotic it is, so don't even try to use one of your pathetic roasts. Sincerely, one of your haters. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. I can use the thumbnail because it's pertinent to the video, ass for brains. If you were expecting something else, sorry. Hey, next time read the description, fucking idiot. If you change the thumbnail and title of this video, you wouldn't get so many negative comments or people who were deceived. Huh, he's right though, you are dreadful. Just stop. More like, haha, you're a douchebag looking for bootlegs. Fuck off, loser. Eventually, I did find the original sketch and made my tweet, which, as I predicted, banged. But time started to pass, and I just couldn't stop thinking about President Polo and his Chris Farley impression. I mean, say what you will about it, I thought it was a pretty good Chris Farley impression. It was, at least, way better than mine was. So I wound up going back to his channel. As it turned out, there was more. Oh, there was a lot more. Why is he in front of a wall of TVs? That wasn't in the sketch. Why are there five or six of them? And then you have his masterpiece. His most viewed video of all time. Best of SNL, More Cowbell. Which features his Christopher Walken impression in some kind of spinning advice animal background. I'm telling you fellas, you gotta wanna have that cowbell on this track. At this point, the video has almost 3 million views and almost as many disappointed comments. This is worse than getting Rickrolled. This is worse than watching a VHS tape of my birth. I got a fever, and the only prescription is to dislike this video. And at this point, the guy had fully won me over. I mean, at first I was annoyed, obviously, because I thought the video was going to be something else from what it was. But then I sat there, I thought about how he's literally having millions of people share the same experience. The first commenter nailed it. This is basically a rickroll, except the thing is, this is like a rickroll that you do to yourself. So at this point, you're probably thinking, oh, this President Polo guy, he's just like some kind of, uh, epic master troll, right? Actually, that kind of looks like him. But then you take a closer look, and that's not quite accurate either. According to his website, he is your next president, Marco Roja, aka Mark Rock, and he's a non-union actor seeking representation. So perhaps this SNL business isn't a deliberate troll, but rather a way that he can keep his acting chops up while enjoying himself. And if you look at his channel, the SNL stuff is only the tip of the iceberg. He has tons of videos of all different kinds. Podcasts, vlogs, movie reviews, karaoke songs, the celebrity impressions. I am the one who knocks. Honestly, though, I'm really disappointed that the Jackie Chan one was an impression, it was just a clip from the movie. But hey, at least the very first video on his channel is an impression of one of my favorite memes of years past. George St. Pierre, I am not impressed by your performance. I'm not impressed by your performance. The thing that gets people in the door of this channel, the SNL sketches, is such a hate magnet, yet I can't help but sit back and marvel at the beauty of this channel. 
In a way, it feels like here in 2019, he's currently living the true spirit of what YouTube used to be. None of these polished series or algorithm-friendly trending topics. He's doing what you used to do on the site, just put up a bunch of videos. President Polo is doing what the site tells you to do, broadcast yourself. And with that in mind, it's kind of poetic that the thing that's his bread and butter is imitating SNL. If you look at the direction YouTube seems to be going in, they want to shave away all the rough edges and get rid of everything that made it different from TV, everything that made people like it better than TV. YouTube wants to become late night, but President Polo is the reverse of that. He's a guy that's taking late night and making it YouTube. A true icon of revolutionary thought. And yet, I doubt he sees it that way. I mean, if you take a look at the intro of his Chippendale sketch. Intro. Hi. You've seen me all over the internet recently, and I've been spreading the word that Saturday Night Live is the best show on television. Let me tell you why. Well, um, well you can figure that out on your own, but <laughs> uh, this is my new, uh, you think I was going to take the shirt off? <laughs> you guys are sick of the head. This is my new Chippendales audition, but it's not an audition because I already turned down Saturday Night Live. <laughs> No, I'm not going on that show. What we want are tickets to the show, okay? We don't want your damn parts. They're stupid. We can do them ourselves, <laughs> like we're doing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Best of SNL. SNL would just give the man some damn tickets. Anyway, if you like this video, you'll probably like my playlist about exceptional individuals. I'm out.